In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the compressor's start relay in your Whirlpool refrigerator. When the start relay fails, it can cause an intermittent clicking noise from the compressor area, and it may cause the compressor to not run and the refrigerator to stop cooling. If you need to buy a new start relay, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. With access to the back of the fridge, use a quarter inch nut driver or flat blade screwdriver to remove the nine screws on the back cover. Now, slide the power cord out of the retainer slot. Then, pull the back cover away from the fridge. Be careful as the water line is routed through a slot in the bottom right corner. The start relay is located here on the side of the compressor. To give better access, bend the metal wheel cover down. Then, to remove the wire retaining clip holding the capacitor and start device to the compressor, push the top in, remove the top from the retaining slot, and press down to release the bottom. To remove the start relay, firmly grab it and pull it away from the compressor. This may be difficult. Then, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Now, remove the capacitor from the start relay. When shopping for a new compressor start relay, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. If you need steps on how to test the start relay, you can check out our other video that shows how. To install the capacitor, align it to the start relay and firmly press in place. To install the start relay, first align the electrical connector and push until it snaps back in place. Then align the start relay with the electrical connector on top to the compressor and firmly press in place. Then to reinstall the wire retaining clip, insert the bottom into the hole, press in and rehook the top. To install the back cover, First, insert the power cord into the retainer slot. Then, route the water line through the slot in the bottom right corner. Now, align the cover and reinstall the screws. Make sure to install the screw through the water retainer line. That's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.